Hi, and welcome to your 15th C++ Noobs Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the switch statement in C++. The switch statement is basically a test statement that tests if a variable amounts to certain conditions. So, it's basically equivalent to a set of if, else if, and else statements. So, open up a new project, add a blank C++ file to it, and I'll show you by writing some code. So add the following code to your file. So we're going to declare a variable called x. So x is where the user's input goes. So set that to 0. And x is the variable that we're going to have the switch statement test for certain conditions. So let's see how it prompt user for some input and we're going to input that what the answer into x so to write a switch statement first you put switch and then parentheses and in here you put the variable that you want conditions to be tested on so in this case that'll be x and a curly brace and now in here, you're going to supply all the different conditions called cases that you want to be tested on your variable. So let's put case and then one followed by a colon and then see out you have entered a one in that line and then So this basically means um, check x and then see if it equals 1, see if the value inside x is 1. If it is, then execute the following block of code. So you have entered a 1. And then this break we learned in uh, the for loop. So this breaks out of a loop or a switch. So basically that means if it's 1, don't bother going to the rest of it because it's not going to be true. And then just exit out of the switch, go to the code after it, and then let's do case 2, see out you have entered a 2, and down, and then break that, case 3, see out we're going to write a default statement. So default followed by a colon. So this is basically the else statement in an if set of statements. So this is, if none of these things amount to true, you're going to execute what comes after default. So see out the number you have entered is greater So basically the switch statement, so we asked the user to enter a number and then we put that number into this integer variable x and then we run a switch statement on the variable x and so first we check if uh, x equals 1, so basically this switch statement is sort of like um, an if statement, like if x equals 1, see out you have entered 1, else if x equals 2, see out you have entered a 2, else if x equals 3, see out you have entered a 3, and then else, see out the number you have entered is greater than 3. So if we try this program right now, okay, and then we enter, say, a 3, the number you have entered is a 3. And then run that again, I'll show you the default statement, so say 300, the number you have entered is greater than 3. So this is basically a switch. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe.